Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. Well today I am super excited to share 10 cards with you using the Spellbinders card kit of the month for July 2022. It's called Under the Sea Magic. So it's very um, seaworthy and magical. In fact, I brought in um, an embossing folder and I embossed this gold panel using the gold mirror card stock in the kit. The embossing folder that I'm using is from Spellbinders and it's called the Scallops. Um, I think it has a great uh, mermaid, kind of a mermaid scaly kind of pattern. And I use this um, for a lot of my cards during today, but you don't have to, if you, it really, I think this, the way that I use this, any kind of embossing folder you have would work great. But um, embossing the gold mirror cardstock is just beautiful. And I did emboss this with a panel size that measures three and a quarter inches wide by four and a half inches tall. Um, and I guess we're going to jump in since we already are. <laughs> these are the dies that came in the kit this month. I die cut these out during my unboxing and I'll link it at the end of the video if you guys want to um, check it out. There's not much to um, the dies this month. You don't have to put them together. There is a layering clam like you see here. Um, and I layered that with a piece of foam adhesive for a little bit of dimension. But other than that, they're just silhouettes. Um, I did die cut out some white seagrass and then I did die cut out some white circles that could be bubbles or pearls. We're going to use them as pearls today. So let's jump in. I'm going to take my gold mirror cardstock and we're going to mat this on a piece of white cardstock. This measures three and a half inches wide by four and three quarter inches. And I'm just going to use my tape runner. Oh, that's pretty on that side too. But I'm going to adhere these two together. Just using my tape runner. The kit does come with the double sided adhesive and it comes with um, foam adhesive. But to save me time, it's quicker just to use my adhesives from, um, from my stash. And I want my mermaid scales to go up right side up. So once we have this done, I am going to go ahead and, and take a piece of pop up fun foam. This is from Spellbinders. I have a lot of black. Usually I tend to use the white, so I'm going to use the black for my kit today. But I'm going to use glue. And then we're going to add some glue behind here and just directly adhere this to our card base. The card bases that I'm using are all from our kit this month. You get 10 of them. And I'm going to use glue here also. And we're going to place our embossed panel right in the middle. After we have this adhered, I'm going to go ahead and glue down my mermaids. We're going to kind of overlap them a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to add maybe a little bit of adhesive would work better for this. I'm going to kind of crisscross them. And then when I'm happy with my placement, I'm going to flip them around and we're going to add some tape. And then we'll adhere this to our gold background. Next, we're going to take our sentiment I took from our chipboard pack. This one says, you're mermazing. This is going to go basically over the mermaid tails chipboard already has its own dimension which makes it nice. I have my little seagrass. We're going to add this. I think that's a good spot. We'll tuck it underneath our our sentiment there. And then we're going to add a little bit of glue. Well, we have two of the clamshell um, die cuts. They're both the same. We get two of each pattern. I'm going to use some foam adhesive. I have some foam circles from my stash. These aren't very dimensional, so I'm going to add these first. And then we, in our kit this month, we get lots of beautiful gems. For this card, I want to bring out some of the purple. Actually, let's use the, the aqua color. It's really pretty. I'm going to add a few gems. And I think that's going to work out great. And then that will finish card number one. We're going to move along to card number two next. 
For card number two, I went ahead and embossed a card front panel using that same embossing folder. And this is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. So it's gonna cover my card base. We're gonna go ahead and adhere that directly to the front of my card base. Okay, once we have that adhered, I picked out two um, pattern papers. Um, the pink mermaid kind of matches our embossed panel there. It has gold embossed detail and I have the purple one. I'm going to space these two together, like so. Keep them at, a, um, at an angle like this. And then, actually let's go ahead and we'll tack these two together. Okay, once we have these two tacked together, I want to put these on my card at an angle like this. So, I'm going to flip my panel around, and we're going to trim around, and then I'm going to add this to my card on the left. This way we have a little bit of dimension. Now I have some die cut pieces here. We're going to take the seahorse and we're going to layer it on, it's like a pink doily that came in the die cut pack. We're just going to layer both of these together. I want to add some foam behind here. And then we'll add a couple dots of glue in the back. And then we can add this to the center. I love that gold. And then for our sentiments, I want to have one believe in your dreams on this side. So we're going to add a little bit of glue to one side. I'm going to use the same um, foam, add that to one side and add a little glue to the opposite. Since this is going to overlap on our pattern paper, we want everything to be nice. And now after we have that done, we're going to finish it off with a few gems. And for this card, I think we're going to use some purple. Actually, let's use some gold. I think the gold's really pretty. We'll add a... I think that looks wonderful. And then that will finish off card number two. Okay, for card number three, we're going to kind of create a reverse window pane. So to do that, I have... I trimmed down four pieces of the floral pattern paper, and they're all the all four of the same sizes. They're one and five-eighths of an inch wide by two and a quarter inches tall. And again, there's four of them. We're gonna place these on a panel um, as I trim down. This is white cardstock, and it measures three and three quarter inches wide by five inches tall. We're gonna go ahead and adhere our pattern papers, and we're gonna evenly space them on this panel. Okay, after we have all of our panel, our pattern papers on our panel here, that looks good. I'm going to flip this around. We're going to add foam adhesive. Actually, we'll just tape this down to our card base. Making sure it opens the right way. We'll place this in the center. Now, after we have this done, I have a piece of the um, die cuts. This actually matches the floral paper so perfectly. I love that they have die cuts that match the floral pattern. I already put foam adhesive behind here. I'm going to remove the release paper and we'll add our floral right down the center. And then we need a sentiment. So our sentiment, um, I'm going to use one of the chipboard stickers. This one says thankful. And I'm going to mat my thankful on some gold mirror cardstock. Since it's chipboard, I like just to go ahead and tack it down to my cardstock, and then I'll use my scissors and just trim around it. Sometimes this is just easier. So we'll add adhesive behind this and do the same thing. Just have a little bit of that white peeking behind our gold. Then we'll trim around it. So we have three layers. I think this looks so nice. Such a clean and finished look. I'm going to layer this almost in the center of the window pane here. And we'll tack that down. 
very simple card today but and then we have some gems that we can add and for this card I think we'll use the purple I love the little purple flakes and then that will finish off card number three For card number four, I trimmed down some of the marbly um, looking paper. So pretty. I love the colors in here. This panel measures um, three and a quarter inches wide by four and a half inches tall. And then I embossed another piece of white cardstock with that same scalloped embossing folder. Um, and this is just slightly smaller. Than my pattern paper. This measures two and three quarter inches wide by four inches tall. I'm going to go ahead and add adhesive behind here. We're going to tack this down to our pattern paper so we have a little bit, about a quarter inch overhanging. And then I have some more of that um, pop-up foam adhesive. Once this is centered, I have some die cuts. Um, I have these, oh gosh, the seahorses are so pretty, and I like that there's no white border on them. So I have both of those. I put foam adhesive behind them already. I have two purple flowers that don't have any white border. I put foam adhesive behind those as well, and also a starfish. Um, I did take our beautiful floral die cut piece. We're going to adhere this to the bottom right corner of our our paper here. After we have this adhered, we're going to take our chipboard that says birthday wishes and I'm going to add a little extra glue here and we're going to tack this down so the very edge ends up being right here next to the embossed panel. Now um, I'm going to remove the release paper off of our florals and we're going to kind of overlap on our sentiment a little bit here. My seahorses, so they're facing each other. I think they're so pretty. Okay, now for this, I'm going to add a few extra little gems here. And for this card, let's use the blue. We'll add a couple over here. And then I'll add a couple oops over here maybe we'll add a couple small ones to the inside of our flowers I think that would look pretty I think that looks great and then that finishes off card number four card number five we're going to make it very easy simple one so uh, this pattern paper was so pretty but sometimes pattern papers like this um, I'm not sure how to create with them. So I trimmed off the bottom right corner. So this measures three and three quarter inches wide by five inches tall. This is gonna leave me a little bit of a border on my card base. I think up in the top was a seahorse, but isn't this so pretty? I'm gonna go ahead and use my tape runner and directly adhere this to my card base. After we have this adhered, I have some of the purple cardstock that was in the kit this month. It's not very often I use the cardstock um, because there's so much pattern paper. But I have the sentiment um, little, I'm not sure if it's hexagon or octagon or there's six sides to this one. But it says, may all your wishes come true. I thought it was so pretty. I'm going to actually take my sentiment, mat this on my purple and then I'm going to use my scissors and trim around it leaving a little bit of a purple border. I think this is going to stand out since we have a darker purple on our background. I think it's going to work out really good. Okay so we matted our sentiment. I'm going to flip this over and I trim down a piece of the black fun foam um, to go behind here. So we'll add our foam here, and I'm going to add a little bit more adhesive. And then this card's a very simple card, but I think it's really pretty. I'm going to add 
my sentiment up here in the top corner like so and then we have some of those beautiful die cuts that fit, they don't have any border I'm going to add these a couple of these right below my sentiment and I already put foam adhesive behind here after we adhered our gems just what that needed that completes card number five Okay, I, for my next card, card number six, I love the colors of the, the, the chipboard stickers and then the pattern paper with the anchors. I just love the colors of this. And then I have a sentiment and an anchor from the die cut pack. This one says celebrate today. We're going to use that. I went ahead and took our, um, our ocean greenery and die cut three of those out with our dies um, with white cardstock. Now I have pattern paper and then I have the gold mirror cardstock. I embossed that with the same embossed um, embossing folder. This is a five and a half, five and a quarter inch long by two inch wide strip. We're going to take this and adhere it directly to our card base all the way to the left here. And did I get the size right on this? Yeah, two inches by five and a quarter. So it's gonna leave me a little border. I'm gonna take my anchor pattern paper, add some adhesive behind here, and this measures three inches wide by five and a quarter inches tall. So I'm going to add, add this to the right side. Now, after we have this done, I'm gonna take my anchor and some white twine And we're going to thread our white twine through our anchor. I like to loop it through. And then we have the chipboard also. I'm going to loop my twine that I loop through my anchor and loop it through my chipboard sticker also. We're going to kind of connect these together. I think that looks really neat. So we're going to flip over the anchor, add a little bit of adhesive so it'll stick. Maybe we'll go this way. I think that looks good. I'm going to leave the, the twine a little bit long. Now I'm going to add adhesive behind our white seagrass. And we're going to tuck one underneath our tag here. And before we add the other two, I'm going to take my sentiment that says um, celebrate today and I'm going to add this using some foam squares here and we can use the lines on that wood grain as kind of as a guide so once we have our sentiment here down here we're going to add a couple more of our white seagrass and then we'll add a little bit more over here love the way that looks. Now, after we have that done, I have in the chipboard pack, we have the little 25 cent tag. It's, it's perfect color. I'm going to add that just above my very first seaweed. We'll tack that down. And then we need to add some of our gems. I'm going to use the gold ones for this card. We'll add a few here and there. Okay. And then that will finish off that card. Love those colors. Okay, for card number seven, I have some of the purple tone on tone pattern paper. This measures three inches, three and a quarter inches wide by five inches tall. And then I have some of the newspaper print with the polka dot. Well, they're actually they're little um, hexagon shapes or octagon shapes. Um, this panel measures um, three inches wide by four and three quarter inches. I'm going to take my scissors and I want to fishtail the bottom of this pattern paper. And then using my tape runner, we're going to adhere this to the purple. I'm going to go all the way to the top with this. Like so. And then I'm going to fishtail this bottom purple piece.
wonderful. After we have our little banners done, I have a piece of that same pop-up fun foam. I'm going to fishtail the bottom here. And then we can put this on our card base. Again, I want to make sure I open it. I can open it the right way. This is going to go all the way to the top. Wonderful. And then after we have this done, I have some die cuts. I have the um, unicorn. That's the silhouette, and I have three stars. And I also have three circles that I die cut out using my circle dies. I die cut out one with a gold mirror cardstock, the, the light purple that cardstock that was in our kit, and the white cardstock that was in our kit. Um, this is the smallest. Let me get a measurement here. That's one and three quarter inch circle. I'm going to stamp my sentiment on that white circle and it's going to say wish upon a star. To do that I'm going to use my black ink so it's centered. And then we're going to use our tape runner, adhere our light purple to our gold. And then I'm going to add the white sentiment circle over our purple, our pale purple. We did a three layer here. Okay, I'm going to add my Wish Upon a Star sentiment. I already put foam adhesive behind. So we're just going to remove the release paper and do a little tucking here. And then I think that looks great. Let's see if we should add some. I think, I think we're going to leave this as it is. That will finish off that card. I have some pattern paper. This is the real pretty pink one. There's some music notes on here too. I'm going to go ahead and take a piece of gold cardstock. This is three quarter inches. Um, three quarter inches by four and a quarter. I'm going to flip over my panel and adhere that gold so about a quarter of an inch is showing on the bottom. Once that's adhered, the size of this pattern paper measures three and a quarter inches wide by four and a quarter inches tall. I'm going to flip this over. We're going to add adhesive behind here. And we're going to directly adhere this to our card base. Right down the center. Once we have our pattern paper adhered, I have some die cut pieces. I have the tag um, that was in our die cut pack. I do have a gold brad, I'm sorry, a gold eyelet that I want to adhere to that tag. Since we're going to be using um, the gold puppy stickers that aren't puppy, <laughs> I'm going to want to bring in a little bit more gold. And plus I like metal texture on my, my cards. So I just secured a gold brad to the top of my tag. And I like that there's embossed detail with gold in here too. I'm going to take some white twine and thread it through my tag. And then after we have that done, I have the rose. That's just a gold embossed rose on white. I'm going to add a little adhesive to the bottom corner of my tag and then add that gold rose on the bottom. Once we have this done, I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to add some foam circles behind here. I'll just remove the release paper and then we'll attach this to our pattern paper that's already on our card base. We're going to put this right in the center. And I'm not going to tie a bow with my tag. I'm going to loop it behind. Sometimes I think that looks really pretty. And then I can just trim the tail of it. Okay, I am going to use, I mentioned my gold stickers. And I'm going to, um, I have the die cut um, little sentiment that says loved. This is going to go over my rows. And then I want to put you are with my stickers. So let's spell out you are. And I think that looks wonderful. We'll put these back. And then we want to add a few gems here. I'm going to use 
the do you want to use the purple I think I want to use the gold gems for this one we're just going to add a few of them and then that will finish off that card number eight okay for card number nine I trimmed down a piece of the pattern paper that has the polka dots um, with the fairies on it with the, the ombre look I'm going to adhere this to my card base the size of this panel measures three and three quarter inches by five inches so it's going to leave me a qu about a quarter inch all around once we have this adhered I have a piece of white cardstock the white cardstock measures two and a quarter two and a half inches wide by three and a quarter inches long we're going to take this and mat this on some gold cardstock that's slightly larger so we're just matting that I'm going to stamp my sentiment on the upper portion of my white cardstock um, for this card I'm going to use the sentiment in this, our stamp set that says I hope today is filled with magic and I'm going to use my black ink for this once we have the first portion of our uh, sentiment stamped I do have the chipboard magic I'm going to place this directly underneath our sentiment so it completes our sentiment and then I'm going to flip this panel over and then I'm going to add some of that black fun foam behind here like so okay from our die cut pack I have the unicorn there's a chipboard unicorn also but I, I like the size of this one um, it's just a little just slightly bigger I'm going to I put foam adhesive behind it we're going to add our unicorn and then I have the chipboard stars I'm going to put the stars inside of our um, I'm going to layer them on side of okay. our gold I think we're going to add some of our no no sparkle I think we're fine after we have our stars adhered we're going to call this card good that finishes off card number nine okay for my final card today I have some die cuts I have a sentiment strip that says believe in your dreams and then I have the beautiful mermaid that it doesn't have a white border along with the starfish that coordinates with her I do also have the um, little constellation from the chipboard pack and then I embossed a panel that um, that I'm gonna put behind my frame here that I created what I did was I I trimmed down a piece of the floral pattern paper and then I matted it on my gold mirror card stock and then I took a rectangle die and die cut out a window in front in front of it this way we can just layer them together and then um, my white panel that I embossed with that same scallop embossing folder I am um, it's, it's gonna fit right behind my panel but I did add foam adhesive behind that gold cardstock so it's going to give me a little bit of dimension to my frame I'm just going to remove the release paper and then we're going to add this to the top of our scalloped area I'm going to flip this panel over and add adhesive behind it and we're going to tack this down to our card base after we have this adhered we are going to add our sentiment I'm going to add the sentiment so um, adding adhesive to the just the left and to the right and it, this way it looks like it's kind of floating on our frame we'll just tack that down there if I can get it straight okay I'm going to take my little mermaid we'll add that to the corner and then I'm going to take my little constellation piece we're going to add a couple foam squares because half of it's going to be on the frame and then the other half will be overlapping on the inside of our window like so and I'm not sure which side is right side up but I'm not concerned because we're going to use our puppy stickers for this card and I just want to spell out the word hi 
and we'll put that inside that circle. So our sentiment will say, hi, believe in your dreams. I think that's cute. I think that worked out perfect. We'll put these back in the package and then that will finish off card number 10. Okay, we're going to take a quick look at all 10 cards. Um, using the Spellbinders Card Kit of the Month for June 2022. I didn't use any glossy accents so I can actually stack them. <laughs> okay, this is card number one. And again, I'm using the scallop embossing folder, but you could use any embossing folder to recreate. Just the texture in the background will make it really pretty. This is card, oops. Card number two. Card number three, card number four, and card number five, our super simple one. <laughs> card number six, let's scoot everything up a little bit. We have card number six, I love the colors. Card number seven, number eight, number nine, and then our final card. So these are all ten cards. I hope this gives you some inspiration and ideas on how to use the kit. I like a lot of dimensions, so I use foam adhesive, but you could actually tack and I use the same design, just minus the foam adhesive. <laughs> but have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me. Have a, um, have a great day. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.